These prices are years out of date. What? What? <laughs> of the shop door? According to my spreadsheet. <laughs> this do this doesn't work in the 1930s economy. So, uh, we're gonna have any like slurs against the Amish now, Jack? Or? Oh, what? I don't know. This is a really weird long play. Yeah. We did a lot. I can't tell what's the error from the player and the game just being shit. I could really use some money right now. That's not how the store works, sir. Charles could never <laughs> understand art. Is this Charles' old friend not saying anything about Jack walking in? I all away, I use ass myself. <laughs> what what secret could Charles be hiding? Whoa, okay. Wow, he was so loud we've all gone deaf. <laughs> Charles has these like really like bright, beautiful eyes. Yeah, he's very <laughs> different. <laughs> and he's very he speaks in riddles, apparently. Oh good. Optimism's free? Wait, if you talk, you couldn't have said it better. What? <laughs> Who says that ever? <laughs> so, okay, I guess the murderer had David off cigars, and this is the only place you can buy those. Last guy bought them said he was going to go kill a guy. <laughs> Solves the whole case for him. Why would you need, like, two boxes of matches? For murder. I like helping you. What a strange conversation. I <laughs> really have much money. The shop wasn't so good today, but I can still manage five dollars. I hope that will help. Thanks, Charles. I'm going out of business. <laughs> Charles, you don't know. <laughs> I what can a pay bank. you with <laughs> garbage <laughs> if you like. <laughs> Anything else on your mind, Jack? Well, uh, well. <laughs> uh, about that. <laughs> no, nothing important. Okay, Jack, I still have to do something. Like what? You're not in a very good mood, hmm? You just oh, gave you money. When I can finally get around to taking care of my own business. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Charles is like the true hero of the story. Absolutely. I well, I don't huh? understand that. Why would why is that book in every store? Sweet kids. Sweet kids. What? Oh, Jack. Right next I'll to the, the book worst. to bait him to read. Oh. <laughs> like, some of this dialogue is just so unnecessary. Like, a newsstand. Oh, you got no room for it in your terrible coat. But with his shrink ray, he can shrink the news and... The, the coat's paginated. All the stuff he collects in his store. Well, it's a store, Jack. <laughs> they need stuff to sell. What if he tried to buy something with the money he just borrowed? <laughs> How much would you want that? How much are your umbrellas going for? <laughs> now to take my business elsewhere. <laughs> now, as I was saying about the Chinese... <laughs> A thousand and one things that nobody needs. I really don't envy him his job. Well, he's doing better off than you, well, bro. My <laughs> I think these lions are tasteless. What? Jack, <laughs> literally no one is asking you your opinion. They call me Jack Orlando, architectural critic. Mm, yes, this seems is like a good next step for Jack. Is there a bar on the second floor? Is there a bar Specifically in here? on that floor. <laughs> What? The director? Oh, are we we have to like sneak into the hotel, I guess? By posing as someone that you are clearly not. But if there's a bar in the hotel, why don't you just go in? Jack, don't you live here? <laughs> well. I'm I'm sorry for everyone at home who's missing the big saxophone. Yeah. There we are. Oh. We haven't gotten the sexy music so much in this part. I'd rather use the. <laughs> Wait, that wasn't uh, even the audio. Yeah, that was the game. I don't know nothing. Maybe the elevator that. somehow controls Jack's voice. I seem to know that little squirt. You do. You do? Shoot him. Yeah, point at his crotch. Good. How can I help you, sir? Do I know you? <laughs> Notice anything peculiar recently? My best friend. Anything particular, sir? <laughs> 
what's wrong with his face? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Why does he have like cartoon eyes? <laughs> help you. Guests are all the same. I'm from a shitty cartoon. Hi. <laughs> That's pretty racist, and I would know. <laughs> Can a guy get his laundry done in this hotel? What? What kind of question is that? Better try the Chinese laundry. Oh, I don't think so. It's a <laughs> You know we're in America, right? <laughs> you look like the shoe shine boy at the corner of Ninth Avenue. He does. That's my brother. He does. Are you sure about that? AKA they copy pasted oh, some odd. Did he also have a strange cartoon face? I don't remember that at all, truthfully. Yeah. I think I would have remembered too. Yeah. A pack of luckies. That was nice of somebody leaving my favorite cigarettes here. I'll just. Steal something out of the hotel? <laughs> yep, right next to the newspaper. Sure. <laughs> Sir, I saw that. <laughs> so. Um, okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> stare lovingly at the lobby guy and, uh. Man, I wish I could afford a room here in the hotel paradise. What? Wait, what item is that? Bad, bad bellhop. Oh. Thank you, sir. A recent edition. Have you already read it, sir? To be what? honest, no, I'm not interested in the It's gospel. a little gift from your best friend, Jack Orlando. <laughs> the newspaper. Horoscopes, bad advertisements of new open laundries. Laundries? Yes, sir. I recently read something about- What? You just told me about one. I don't know anything about a Chinese laundry. You just saw one, outside. Yeah, not far from here. You even said a thing about the guy. I think I should read the newspaper more. Or have you read it to me? I can't do it. That doesn't- that made no sense. He just told the guy. Like, he just did that. Yes, there. And then the guy even... Well, I've learned an important clue in my investigation. <laughs> now let's forget about it and learn about a Chinese laundry. So do you think the long player had sound issues, or is the game just that bad? I think the long player had sound you, issues, truthfully. We're not allowed to smoke on the job, but sometimes I go to a bar after work. Which one Where can I get my clothes cleaned? <laughs> I prefer the small talk. Comfortable. Not far from here. Nice atmosphere and good music. Doesn't he live in this city? He has a key to it. Like, why would he need all these bellhops yeah. to just tell him where to right. go? He has the key of the city. And the lucky cult or whatever the hell they gave him. Oh, oh boy. boy. Let's just, just walk away. I have a bad feeling. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay. All right. I have a bad feeling about that woman, too. Frankly, no one he talks to <laughs> feel, like makes me feel good. All right. Two for two. Um, what is the... <laughs> I don't understand, though. Why are we going to this bar? Just because the bellhop recommended it? Like, it doesn't seem to have anything to do with the murder. It says small talk. What a weird coincidence. That is not a neon sign, also. <laughs> like, it's just a flashing light sign. Uninteresting. I can look around corners, you know. <laughs> Uninteresting, but I'll pick it up all the same. I mean, I got the super glue in my coat. May as well use it. <laughs> What's in here? Oh. oh. Maybe it is the game, though. It seems to come in at new scenes, yeah, you know? Yeah, it's... Dummy. Never played pool properly before. <laughs> what? I've never seen Jack antagonize people so quickly. <laughs> Friends, total strangers, it doesn't matter. Pool players are my most hated minority group. Barkeep, you're so shithead. Anything from them anyway. <laughs> it's such an awkward little walk, too. <laughs> I sure hope that clown ain't driving. What? <laughs> Thank you for the public service announcement. Oh, we're talking to the guy. Can you see I'm busy? What? What are we a counselor now? People die from thinking too much. Oh, thinking, thinking or too drinking? Much. I thought it was drinking. What's wrong? Oh. 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 Do you drink a lot? Did you murder someone recently? <laughs> Do you mind doing a couple years in jail for me? <laughs> you don't have much to live for, right? All right, I can't pin it on him. He's too drunk. Couldn't take another two. <laughs> what? What? 
<laughs> Wait, I thought drinking was bad. I think suddenly. drinking might impair his piano playing skills. That's my deduction as a detective. <laughs> I'm sorry, you keep interrupting me like right in the middle of my internal monologue in the context that would have helped it. An old piano. I know, sir. <laughs> this vase could still be used. What? For what? For, oh, okay, fine. Oh, sure. Fine. If it exists and it can be picked up with one hand, Jack will take it. <laughs> well, puts it in his coat. <laughs> Get better pool players in this bar. I'm out of here. Broke the beer glass. Yeah, I'll take you. Why not? I can't get rid of the feeling I've seen that face before. Money makes the world go round, my friend. I mean, what would you like to drink, sir? Look at his face. He's totally coming on to him. Customers, that's got damn all to do with you. I want a shitty bartender. You wanna earn some money? I'd rather starve than take a cent. Maybe he's a very good bartender, actually. Yeah, actually, I'm totally on the bartender side. If he knows side. Jack, yeah, never mind. I just want a soda from Jack, that's funny. I piano always plays so badly. <laughs> God, you know what? About music. Since when did you start getting... <laughs> Wait, what is the... Wait, it's... Nobody punched out your lights for a while. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand this conversation! Okay, time out, guys. <laughs> I'm I'm rooting for the bartender. I hope this ends in Jack going. So how's business? <laughs> Take it or leave it. But in a year, the grass will have grown over your foot. Holy shit! Watch it, fat man. I don't like the way you act. That's nothing to do with me. I got people covering me. Not anymore. Orlando. What happens when an unstoppable asshole meets an immovable bastard? <laughs> do we know each other? <laughs> yeah, that's a good. Not me. But thank God there's some people already digging. You. Do we have like history or something? We'll put them off doing it too. Is there a backstory we should clue the player in on? <laughs> there's always the police. <laughs> always the police. What now? You're all alone and the hunt's begun. Huh? Um. Wait, who's trying to kill me, bartender? Hold on. The world go run. Anyway, how's the club soda sound? Here on business. Nobody here gonna do anything. All right, at least he's still consistent. <laughs> yeah, true. Watch it. You should watch yourself, Orlando. There's big black clouds gathering over you. Could you say this non-metaphorically so I can understand it? Are you like some kind of prophet? You got my brother locked up because of whiskey smuggling, and now you're drinking yourself to death. Everything. To death? Everything. And everything can change quickly. What are you trying to do? You probably spoke to somebody who wanted to warn you about your mistakes. Come on, come on, get it out of your system. I I still feel like I'm like mid conversation with them, no matter yeah, how it starts. So case salt okay, good. Oh Pete, please be the clumsiest punch. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> stop. <laughs> ah, that was stupid. Oh my god, he's don't like don't smash the glass on him. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I kind of want him to, but I'll just I'll be taking this. <laughs> I think I've proven my point <laughs> with my sick moves. <laughs> you know, there was no small talk going on at that bar. <laughs> <laughs> How about we have an in media res conversation, if you know what I mean? Hey, what do you think of my fighting stance, lady? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty <love> impressive. <laughs> what are you doing, Orlando? Yeah, I don't know. That she's a terrible prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also Jack Orlando, so <laughs> that's half Nate. Oh, it's the thirties. Yeah, true. Doctor. The Flying Doctor? No, an African goo from the Detectola tribe. My next guess would have been right. You're really clever. I don't Maybe think either of you are clever. No? 
Are you my mother or something? Your father, little one. I got Ew. An orphan than have a father like you. Serious. Do you know who you killed this guy? The wife puts the kids to bed and he goes looking for some fun. Oh, joke's on you, I'm all love. Uh, you from the women's <laughs> lib. I'm a woman, that's enough. Are you one of them feminist hookers? <laughs> we ladies gotta stick together. Are you a psychology student doing your Wait, what? studies what? here, or are you just a normal whore? I don't understand I any of this. In the mouth. Since when did you get feelings that could be hurt? Beat it, asshole. <laughs> Why are we fighting with everyone? <laughs> I got a bartender you might like, by the way. Alright. Now I, let I, me antagonize I, this guy. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure this is gonna go very well. Oh, bye -bye. oh, you get it did. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Good. I refuse to antagonize the laundry guy. I'm a moment of silent contemplation on the previous scenes. I'm still not like really following what we're trying to do. I don't have any idea. I mean, I get the bigger picture, but not how any of what he's been doing lately uh, fits into that. It makes me think I don't get the bigger picture. Perhaps. Like, I thought he was trying to, like, exonerate himself from murder, but instead it'd just be nice to have bellhops and flower ladies. Okay, are we are we in a puzzle sequence now? You give the vase to the flower lady, she gives you something to do what? I've got a gift for you, too. Let me guess, you're another prostitute. <laughs> oh. It's a book. I love are you doing your practical very studies, very or are you just a normal whore? <laughs> Oh yeah, I have a weak spot for foreign languages. Like I drunk. Of what? Manuscript. So she gave him a Chinese manuscript, and of course. And guess anyone. where we're going next? Yep, yep, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyone from China loves things with their writing on it. <laughs> He's gonna yeah, love like this. this. I've totally got an end now. She just waves it in front of his face like a dog. <laughs> Oh, well. Oh, maybe not. I keep thinking there's going to be some terrible conversation like with the, the Chinese guy. Ooh. I mean, maybe haven't used that wagon for typical it. Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Always leaving their rickshaws to go to disrepair. Indeed. Somebody must have lost it. <laughs> case pick it up. closed. I I didn't solve my murder, but uh, case, but I do have a lot of litter I picked up. Does that count? I'm something? saving the city's garbage collectors hours of labor. <laughs> An hour of labor. Yeah. He doesn't seem to have anything that could turn out interesting. I heard that, sir. Don't talk to him. Don't talk to him. Oh, cool. What? Oh. Uh, oh. Let's see here. <laughs> oh God! <Chad>. All right. <laughs> oh my God, the guy. Jeez. Um. All right, that's better. Oh my God! I can see the text. Is this your laundry? No, no, my brother has laundry. I only help him. Oh, it's a South Park character. <laughs> Can you wash your whole life clean? Wait, I don't, how, Jack, where are we going with this one? How about for this manuscript? <laughs> the game was like, we need to re-record that, actually. Let's mute this. <laughs> I oh. found your fans in the alley. <laughs> you like that, right? Oh, thank you. My wife what? is really happy to have fan like this. How much you want? Just tell me what you know. Man from night of Glenn is strong. But he know what happened. You must speak with him. Careful he not get angry. When he angry, he always hitting. He also Like even the text is money, he <laughs> away, but you don't have to give him money. Incredible. Jesus Christ. Make sure you hate the game as much as me. Anything else. You Can you say anything you negative about your people you while we're here? <laughs> <laughs> well, um <laughs> Now that we have established the decade this game is set in. <laughs> now to bother some Mexicans. Yeah. Thank you. This manuscript barely interesting. Oh my god. Barely precious. I give you book of wisdom. Use it carefully. I'm going not- Why would he have a book of wisdom? Come on! Why would you have a book of wisdom? More importantly, what is the book of wisdom 
going to do as far as solving this uh, crime. He, he opens it and says, Jack, kill yourself. <laughs> Excuse me, madam. I think I... I think you'll find wisdom beyond prostitution <laughs> with this textbook. <laughs> and then Jack's done a good deed for the day. <laughs> You you one of them women's lib hookers? <laughs> Maybe you should check out my fucking YouTube channel. <laughs> um, who's like the who's the sprightly taxi driver now? <laughs> what ethnicity are you exactly? Before I start talking to you. Hello, Jack. Where are you off to this fine day? <laughs> are you expensive? Well, you didn't tell me how much it was. I'd like to go to Murderer City. <laughs> I'd like to go not to jail, please. Can you arrange that? <laughs> I'm going to logic you out of having to give me a fare. <laughs> hmm. Bottle of whiskey, is that like a book of wisdom? <laughs> oh, better than he treats a woman. It's a little too much information about Frank, Good but... Evening. where to? Uh, information? I have a car of my own. <laughs> that is not a good answer to where to. Miles or so. Why would this guy even care? Really? Believe me, I know all about it. My best pal's a mechanic. Well, well. Frank, that's what <laughs> is a Well, well. Mechanic. That's, that's the I'm not listening that's response. Fine. It's in the south part of town. Ah, oh, yes, easy to find. Cotton Club. Well, there, that's all the okay. information I need for sure. I've given you his exact coordinates. <laughs>